Well, out there, YouTubers. Just trying to uh, show you what I was cutting those boards for. I guess I got to get back a little bit. I put this on a pack rat hoarder and I put this building up for really next to nothing. The only thing that cost anything, I think, was the tin on the roof. That, that's all I got expense on it. And I, I don't know what that was. It's like maybe 295, three foot by one foot. The building here is, I, I don't know how, I think it's 20 foot long and then I added a little section on the back. Oh, I got, I got tin on the sides. I forgot about that. I got tin on the sides. Um, this door here was an old garage door that was a throwaway. So that was, but they had to, to make it fit because it's kind of low. They had to change the center section. You can see where the glass is a different, different color, but I don't care. I think the door cost me, 150 bucks or something like that and I think I paid the guy I don't remember what to frame it all in and put the garage door and all that kind of stuff on so I, I know that I don't have I don't have a whole lot of money in this I, I guess it's built for under a couple thousand bucks I, I just I don't remember but the actual building wasn't much because it, it was just scrap but over here I don't know what what quite to do here I have three pieces in there and that leaves me a, a gap here, a gap, they, they gotta go over, they gotta be, it's gotta go over a little bit and these might not be true and this, I don't know, that might not be true either, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. So I think I'm just going to put a screw in the top and actually this last one here, these are 10 inches. as much as I hate to cut that much out of it, oh lordy, I think I'll, Just kind of, I'm just gonna put a screw up there for now, and then I have these other boards that were the cutoffs because those, those are 92 and a half inches long, and then this is, this is a cutoff, and I guess you're in the screen there. These are gonna go up across here, like so, and then I'll, I'll cut them off, uh, run a string line and cut them off, or who knows how heck I'll cut them off. So I got a bunch of these, and that'll go above the door. That one that I needed, the one that I needed over here, that was a nine incher and that one there was a seven and a half incher. Those are the ones that I cut right for the exact size I needed. So it's getting dark out here, probably just wrap this one up. I, I might throw that sawmill one on, I, I don't know when. But uh, I'm gonna put, put these inside and then uh, I think I'm gonna let these shrink a little bit, dry up and shrink a little bit, because you know they're they're gonna get a gap, and I should probably put um, uh, tie back in between it. And up here, probably probably put tie back in between it, and that'll be that'll be good. I think up at the top, you can't kind of you kind of can't see it, but I think uh, up here. See, this goes up and there's a little lip out up there. I'm not a builder. This guy did it for me. But I got to take that, see that, uh, that railing that I used to have a piece of plastic over the front of this thing so leaves and snow wouldn't go in. That's where that a tree come, came down on it. But I have to take that uh, rail down. And then I think I'll put another board on it to go from all the way up the top where the tin is all the way down to the top of the garage door. I think I'll do that just to... Uh, it, it, it would take care of seeing that gap right there, but then if I bring it down, it should be even with about the top of this door. So just run one, run one across all the way, even with that, and it might look goofy. I'm not a builder, so it's just kind of the way, the way it's going to be. So anyhow, that's what those boards were cut for. I'm going to put them away and uh, call it a wrap for tonight. Like I said in the last movie, they got rain coming in tonight. It's pretty peaceful and calm right now. It's a uh, nice temperature out here. I, I imagine it's, it feels like it's about low 60s, maybe high 50s. Um, overcast, sun's going down, it's about 4.30. So um, another thing I did on the building, I'll show you while I'm here, now that I think about it, you guys might want to do it in the building. This is that greenhouse plastic. I got you on the tripod because it's uh, a lot more steady than this old man. I'm going to see if I can't point it out. You can see the plastic. What I did 
was I brought it all the way in here and ran it up the wall to the top of the um, purlin or whatever holds this tin on. So if the water comes down, it's got to it's got to go out at least three feet before moisture is going to go in inside the building. So that keeps it a little dry because I didn't put a cement floor in there. This is a, a temporary parts department. It's just full of full of junk. Like I said, I'm a pack rat hoarder, um, but it, it's pretty good. There's another wood splitter in there too. Um, you've seen it before in some of the past movies. If I go, it's too dark to even video it in there right now. So, anyhow, do me a favor, hit the like button if you halfway liked it. Christmas present, send send a movie to a friend. I gotta I gotta hook another friend. Um, so if you send it to a friend, then that'll that'll help me out a lot. Um, thank you for being here. Trying to hit the nine thousand by the end of the year, which is. Only uh, maybe a week and a half, two weeks away. So thank you for being here. We'll see you later. Bye.